Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Kalyan and you are watching ADJ Stock Analysis Series where we dive deep into the companies that are listed in the stock market. Whether you are a seasoned investor or just getting started, this series will help you in understanding the fundamentals behind stocks that you heard about and some you haven't. Today in this video, we are diving into one of the well-known companies in India, ITC Limited. This is a company that touches almost every part of our daily lives. from the food we eat to the hotels we stay in itc has been around for over a century but how did itc get here and what makes this a powerhouse let's find out itc is a diversified conglomerate with businesses spanning across fmcg personal care cigarettes and cigars educational stationery products agarbattis and safety matches hotels paper boards and packaging agribusiness and information technology ITC was incorporated on August 24, 1910 under the name of Imperial Tobacco Company of India. The company name was changed to Indian Tobacco Company Limited in 1970 and in 1974 it was changed to ITC Limited. Sanjeev Puri is the managing director and chairman of ITC Limited currently. ITC today has its presence across various countries and its products are one of the market leaders in their respective industries. And not just that, ITC's omnichannel distribution infrastructure reaches over 25 crore households across india but you know guys itc was started in a leased building on radha bazar lane kolkata which was the center of the company's existence starting off with humble beginnings itc is a giant today and each of its verticals need extensive study and that's the reason why we are dividing this analysis into two parts the market capitalization of itc as of october 9 2024 is 6.25 lakh crores so without any further delay let's get into the business overview of the company ITC majorly operates in six business verticals. So let's start with first vertical, which is FMCG cigarettes. ITC is the leader in the organized domestic cigarette market with a market share of over 80%. Its wide range of brands include Insignia, Indian Kings, Classic, Gold Flake, American Club, Wills Navy Cut, Players, Scissors, Capstone, Berkeley, Bristol, Flake, Silkert, Duke and Royal. So these are the different brands which are owned by ITC FMCG cigarettes. Moving to the second vertical, which is FMCG others. ITC has 25 mother brands which are spread across various FMCG categories, and we list out all the categories now. First category is packaged foods. Under this category, there are several brands which are Ashirwad, Sunfeast, Bingo, Ippi Noodles, Candyman, and Minto. Moving to the second category, which is personal care, Savlon, Fiamma, Vivel, and Superia. In the stationery segment, classmate and paper craft. In the agarbatti segment, mangal deep and AM matches. Now let's move on to the third business vertical of the company, which is agri business. ITC is the second largest exporter of agri products from the country. It trades in feed ingredients, food grains, marine products, processed fruits, coffee, etc. It also exports leaf tobacco under this vertical. And you know, guys, ITC is the India's largest and world's fifth largest leaf tobacco exporter. Now let's move on to the next segment, which is paper boards, paper and packaging industry. ITC is the market leader in the value-added paper board segment, and it is also India's largest converter of paper board into high-quality packaging. ITC manufactures the entire spectrum of paper boards, from the 100% virgin food grade boards, which are made from renewable and sustainable sources, to 100% recycled boards. Now let's move on to the another segment, which is hotels. ITC entered into the hotel business in the year 1975. ITC hotels. is the fastest growing and second largest hotel chains in india and they are having 108 hotels across 70 locations it possesses an inventory of approximately 2 lakh 90000 rooms and itc hotels are classified under four different brands itc hotels welcome hotels fortune hotels welcome heritage and moving to the last segment which is it itc infotech is a leading global technology services and solutions provider led by business and technology consulting The company provides technology solutions and services to enterprises across various segments such as banking and financial services, healthcare, manufacturing, consumer goods, travel and hospitality. And if it is clear, let's get into the revenue breakdown so that we understand the importance of each vertical in detail now. The overall revenue for Q4 FY24 is 19297 crores and cigarettes contributed nearly 7925 crores which is 41.1% of their revenue. Other FMCG contributed 5,300 crores, which signifies 27.5% of their revenues. Hotels contributed 898 crore, which is equal to 4.7% of their revenues. Agribusiness contributed 3,101 crore, which is equal to 16.1% of their revenue. Paper board business contributed 2,073 crores, and it is equal to 10.7% of the overall revenues of the company. First, let's get into the industry overview of tobacco segment. 
However, in India, tobacco consumption takes on different forms, including various chewing and smoking options available across various price ranges. This diversity is because of the heavy and unequal taxes imposed on the cigarettes. While India is the second largest consumer of tobacco across the globe, legal cigarettes account to just 9% of the total tobacco use compared to the global average of 90%. Despite having 18% of the world population, India makes up less than 2% of the global cigarette consumption. But over the time, steep and discriminatory taxes on cigarettes have led people to shift towards the low-tax tobacco products such as illicit cigarettes, BDs and chewing tobacco, example Gutka, Zarda, etc. Although legal cigarette share of total tobacco consumption has dropped from 21% in 1981 to 82 to just 9% today. The overall use of tobacco in India has increased. Despite representing less than 10% of total tobacco consumption, legal cigarettes generate over 80% of the revenues from the tobacco sector. Cigarette taxes in India are significantly higher when compared to the developed nations. For example, our taxes are 14 times greater than the US, 7 times higher than the Japan and 6 times more than the Germany. And additionally, Indian taxes are much higher when compared to the neighboring countries as well. If it is clear, now let's get into the competition intensity in the Indian tobacco industry. But in order to understand the competition intensity, first we need to understand the types of tobaccos that are available in India. India, with its rich agroclimatic diversity, has a unique position of growing all types of tobaccos which are broadly classified as FCV, BD, Cigar and Chirut, Hookah Tobacco, Chewing and Snuff and Pika Tobacco. In India, cigarettes are manufactured mainly using flu-cured Virginia Tobacco, which is also known as FCV Tobacco. And it is grown in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and Karnataka. First one is ITC Limited, second Godre Philips India Limited, VST Industries Limited and the last one Philips Morris International. ITC had a market share of 73% as of 2022 and Godre Phillips had a market share of almost 10% in 2022 and VST had a market share of over 9% in 2022. So we discussed the competition intensity and as well as the industry overview of the tobacco industry. Now it is time for us to understand the ITC position in this particular segment. ITC is the market leader in the tobacco segment and it is having market share of over 73% as of 2022. ITC is the market leader in cigarettes in India. With a portfolio of invaluable brands, ITC cigarette business stands testimony to a company's quality, innovation and consumer focus. And the company is having a diversified portfolio of cigarette brands which we already discussed in the beginning of the video. The company has 5 cigarette manufacturing factories across India in Bengaluru, Karnataka, Mungar, Pune and Saharanpur. But there are some risks associated with the Indian cigarette market of the ITC. First risk, high dependence on the tobacco revenues. ITC is heavily reliant on the cigarette business and if you look at the revenue breakdown of the company, it contributes to nearly 40% of the overall revenues. Although the company is having diversified business verticals, the major revenue contributing vertical is cigarettes. As of FI 2024, the FMCG cigarette segment contributed around 30,000 crores. So any impact to the tobacco industry will completely impact the finances of the company. Moving to the next risk of the company, which is high taxation on the cigarettes. As we already discussed, taxes on cigarettes are the highest when compared to the, all the countries across the globe. And huge taxes on the legal cigarette industry resulted in the growth of the illicit cigarettes. And surprisingly, India is the fourth largest illicit cigarette market across the globe according to the Euro Monitor estimates. The next risk associated is rise of illicit cigarettes. Over the years, with the high taxation on the legal cigarettes led to the growth of the illicit cigarettes such as BD, Zarda, Kaini and Pan Masala. But it is pertinent to note that the legal cigarette share has reduced gradually from 21% in 1981 to 9% as of now. As a result, despite accounting for less than one tenth of the tobacco consumed in the country, duty paid cigarettes contribute more than four fifths of the revenue generated from the tobacco sector. To put it simple, though the legal cigarette consumption is less in the country, due to the high taxes on the legal cigarettes, the overall revenues coming from the tobacco industry is close to four fifths. Moving to the last risk associated with cigarette industry, which is the regulatory risks. The government imposes stringent rules on the cigarette marketing with complete bans on advertising through traditional media. Additionally, the Cigarette and Other Tobacco Products Act COTPA, mandates large pictorial warnings on cigarette packs and strict packaging norms. Any further regulations could impact the ability of the ITC to market its products and it may lose the market share in the future. So till now, we discussed about the cigarette industry completely. Now let's move on to the hotel industry. The global travel and tourism industry, which was severely impacted by the global pandemic, which is COVID-19, has recovered from the last two years. According to the estimates of the World Travel and Tourism Council, the travel and tourism sector 
is expected to contribute nearly 9.9 trillion dollars to the global economy. The hospitality industry is a crucial component in the travel and tourism industry and it plays a crucial role in earning foreign exchange reserves, contribute to the revenue generation and job creation in the host community. The hotel industry is heavily dependent on the tourism industry as a source of revenue and it is also dependent on the ministries such as tourism, civil aviation, railways as a source of growth. So before going further into the strengths and risks in the hotel segment, we need to discuss two operating models which are asset client and asset right models. So these are the two models in which most of the hotels operate in. First, let's discuss about asset light model. In the asset light model, the hotel companies prioritize running and managing properties instead of owning the properties. And coming to the second, which is asset right model, it is more like a tailored approach. The asset right model is a more tailored approach where a company combines asset like principles with selective ownership of key properties that are strategically important. This is the basic overview of the hotel industry. Now we need to understand the ITC position in the hotel industry. ITC Hotels is one of the world's largest hotel chain with 130 hotels across 70 locations. ITC Hotel business continues to leverage its asset right strategy to be amongst the fastest growing hospitality chains in the country with over 130 properties and 12,000 rooms under distinctive brands. If you look into the detail, ITC Hotels in the luxury segment, Mementos in the luxury lifestyle segment, Welcome Hotel in the upscale segment, Story in the boutique premium segment, Fortune in the mid-market to upscale segment and Welcome Heritage in the leisure and heritage segment. Moreover, ITC operates in the asset right model. So till now we have covered the two business verticals of the ITC, cigarettes and hotels. Now let's move on to the third segment which is paper boards, paper and packaging industry. The Indian paper industry is highly fragmented. It comprises of small, medium and large paper mills with paper production capacity ranging from 10 to 1650 tons per day. The Indian paper industry produces nearly 5% of the global paper. The paper industry in India is so huge and it contributes nearly 5% of the world's total paper production. And the market is worth about $8 billion. The Indian paper industry generated nearly 70,000 crores in revenue with a domestic market of 80,000 crores. And you know the paper industry's tax contribution to the government is nearly 5,000 crores. In India, per capita paper consumption is just 15 to 16 kg but it is very much lower when compared to the global average of 57 kg. Now let's understand the ITC position in this particular segment. ITC has a special advantage of having its own integrated pulp and paper mill. ITC established India's largest pulp and paper mill anchoring inclusive fiber value chain. The classmate and paper craft range of notebooks leverage the company's world class fiber line at Badrachalam, also India's first ozone treated elemental chlorine free facility. The second strength of this segment is strong brand for its book segment. ITC's popular range of education stationery products includes papers, pens, notebooks, art, stationery, geometry box and scholastic products and they are branded under the name of classmate and papercraft. But there is one risk in this particular segment which is the decline in the revenues of this particular segment. Revenues declined by 7% year on year and EBIT declined by 34% owing to subdued domestic demand and increased competitive intensity from cheap Chinese players. Margins were largely impacted and that led to the impact on the financials of the company. So this is about the paper and packaging industry of the ITC. So far, we have discussed three business verticals, tobacco, hotels and paper industry. As we already know, there are two more business verticals and we need to discuss that. You may be wondering why this conglomerate is operating in such varied sectors and what is the correlation between all these segments. So in the next part of the video, we'll uncover all the aspects of the business verticals and we'll find out the interlink between all these verticals so that you'll understand the company in detail and we'll also cover financial shareholding pattern and ESG in the next part of the video. So by discussing all these parameters and aspects of the company, we'll be able to decide whether ITC is a good stock to invest or not. So stay tuned for our next part of the A to Z stock analysis of ITC part 2. So till then, take care, bye.